Let me read this right here. Let me show y'all something. Now it came from this five dollar cracker right here. Let me show y'all something though. Now I believe that Section Eight is through HUD, right? The uh, Department of Housing and Urban Development. Now you see that's a Office of Public and what? Indian Housing. I wonder why I would say that. But I know why, because my people fought for that shit in the 1960s. That's why it's called the American Bill of American Indian Bill of Rights. Hold on. Now this is the 1968 Civil Rights Act. It was effective April 11, 1968. Look at the nicknames though. The Indian Civil Rights Act, the Indian Bill of Rights, Fair Housing, Housing Rights Act. Your people wasn't at the signing of these uh, Civil Rights Acts. My people were. Now, this is not to make fun of the Native American community, even though I be stepping on y'all. Like, this is real life shit, though, right here. You feel me? Even though. Y'all highly disrespectful and as fuck y'all in real life. You feel me? I really don't give a fuck about you. I don't care less. Y'all don't matter to me. But at the same time, I'm not a total asshole, right? Um, more than one in four Indians live in poverty. The highest rate of any racial group in the United States. So while y'all be trying to make fun of us for living in a hood or having a... Uh, a so called a hood education which is the public education system come on man and y'all have the high, highest illiteracy rate so what are we talking about stop trying to clown us cause, cause if we really start getting start talking about all the all y'all people that be talking about us it's gonna get dark for you motherfuckers out here real real dark this is Bill John Baker right he was a Native American politician who served as the principal chief of the Cherokee Nation. Now, he's not currently it. He's doing something else higher in politics. But, come on, cuz. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> y'all be out here trying to clown us, but y'all are the Europeans that uh, colonized and, and, and enslaved. Uh, the American Indians on the land and y'all took the place of of us this lady remind me of fry bread I don't know if y'all familiar with her but listen to this my name is Sasheen Littlefeather I'm Apache that's Sasheen Littlefeather a self-described Native American actress who is now being accused of faking her ancestry cannot accept this very generous award she famously declined Marlon Brando's Oscar back in 1973 in protest of Hollywood's depiction of Native Americans. She died earlier this month, but now her own family is telling the San Francisco Chronicle that her claims of being Native American were all a fraud. One sister saying their father actually came from Mexico. Another sister calling her life a fantasy, branding the Native claims disgusting to the heritage of the tribal people and insulting to their parents. Sasheen Littlefeather was a vocal advocate for Native Americans and said she belonged to the White Mountain Apache and Yakui tribes on her father's side. This These motherfuckers stay hating on us because we fit all the primary sources, all the original descriptions and depictions of the indigenous people, definitely the most ancient people before a lot of other invasions start coming in, right? Um, and they hate that we have our genealogy. We can date our ancestors back. We can put a name on it. You feel me? They can't do the same. Matter of fact, they shit go back to Europe. They like they like to talk about DNA and all this other shit. We're talking about being a fucking res. Come on, cuz you you <laughs> you a motherfucking res, boy. We know that's where all the weak motherfuckers went. You feel me? The real one stayed in fault. You heard? These the same motherfuckers that try to imitate the way we talk. You feel me? The way we walk, our current coaches, our, 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 all of them that we created, whether it's hip hop, jazz, all our different type of music coaches that come from real life, because music and this culture, it comes from real life experiences. It's a reason why we created it, right? All our, um, 
different type of experiences and you have you can tell by the different type of experiences from the different type of music you feel me but it's always one thing that's been resonating that's been the same thing through this through all the type of music that we create we have vultures like this try to come in our cultures and take it and then disrespect the people that created it you feel me while cosplaying somebody else Shit is wild. This uh, Frawberry right here, I mean, Iron Eyes Cody. Same motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna end it with this. Yo, man. Let's, let's fuck these goopies, man. Keep stomping, keep stepping on them with the truth. They hate. That's why they gotta come in our comments and, and talk shit. That's all they can do is talk shit. Cause they can't do shit in real life. Like nothing. We make shit move. They follow us. Fuck you mean. We make shit move. That's why every time they get into something, they cry for our help. Right? Anytime any type of movement or some type of something going on, they call on us. It's a reason. Because we make shit move. They, they want to be us, bro. And they matter it ain't us. But I digress. Actor of Italian descent who portrayed Native Americans in Hollywood films. Famously as Chief Iron Eyes in Bob Hope's The Pale Face. He also played a Native American shedding a tear about litter in one of the country's most well-known television public service announcements from the group Keep America Beautiful. Living in Hollywood, he began to insist, even in his private life, that he was Native American, over time claiming membership in several different tribes. In 1996, Cody's half-sister said that he was of Italian ancestry, but he denied it. After his death, it was revealed that he was of Sicilian parentage and not Native American at all. Early life Cody was born Espera Oscar de Cordy on April 3rd, 1904, in Kaplan and Vermilion. Now, last thing is, remember family, none of these goofies, these racist motherfuckers will ever come into our spaces, how they do on TikTok, and disrespect us in real life. They will never come to our hoods, they will never, this is just TikTok shit. The only TikTok tough, the only TikTok thugs. You understand? Oh, they 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 don't they don't they don't want no world smoke. You understand? So this is their way of fighting back, right? But let's continue to do real work. Continue to do your genealogy. Continue to find out who your ancestors is, and let's make shit happen. That's it. Um, this really my last time. I ain't gonna say my last time, but I'm gonna try to revert from responding to these motherfuckers. Definitely with videos. It's just a waste of time. But I thought this could be another learning um, experience for some of my brothers and sisters out there. But peace, love, and power to my people.